everyone, my name is Raymer Budrich, and today you'll be watching my show on being a kid during 2020. Let's get into it. So, you'll be listening on my first story of how my house turned into a Walmart. I know, sounds weird. So, me and my aunt went to this store, Walmart, and we had to get some supplies. And it's been, and it's the first time I've been out since coronavirus. So, we go around the store. We went to this specifically Walmart that we go to often. It's always packed. Like, you can barely get any carts and stuff. So, when we go into the store, I was in awe to realize this store was empty. Practically. I only saw, I've only saw the same five people. So, we go in and we buy a lot of stuff. We bought this 600 box thing of, we bought this 600 box thing of forks. I thought that was weird that we didn't need that many forks. We go, we bought a lot of foam cups because we use foam cups in my house. We bought a lot of those. And then we bought this huge thing of paper towels. Maybe had like 60 things on it. Weird. I can, in my head, I can only, I can only think of what the cash register, cashier was going to think when she seen all this stuff. But, we live on. So, next we go to the food. We bought, maybe, five things of drink. Big things of drink, so we could have them. And I said, okay, 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 normal, normal, I guess. Then we bought this, we bought, we bought uh, these things that you could like, they're like kind of Kool-Aid packets, but they're like little containers of stuff. And we bought a couple of those. I said, okay, okay. All I can tell you is, we bought a lot of stuff. It was awkward at the cashier. All I know is we end up spending six. My aunt end up spending six hundred dollars that day. Let's get into the let's get into the next segment, shall we? Hello, my name is Raymond Bundrich, and welcome to my second segment. All right, for my second segment, I will be performing a song. Hello, my name is Raymer Bundrich, and welcome to my second segment. I hope you do enjoy. This will all make sense when I am older. Someday I see that this makes sense. One day when I'm old and wise, I'll think back and realize these are all completely normal events. Yeah. I'll have all the answers when I'm older. Like why we're in this dark enchanted mood. I know in a couple years these will seem like child spears. So I know this isn't bad, it's good. Excuse me. Growing, growing up means adapting. Puzzling out your world in your place. And I'm more mature. I'm totally secure. I'm blocked by something with a creepy, creepy face. <laughs> Since when I am older, so no need to be terrified or tense. I just dream about a time when I'm in my age of pride. Cause when you're older, absolutely everything makes sense. This is fine. Hi, and welcome to my fourth segment of my show. I believe. Today I will be telling you a story of the first time we tried online school in 2020. Let's get into it, please. So, this story, I really don't like it, but let's get into it. 
So, as you already know, schools are closed down in March 2020. And we were all set home. At the time, I was our ecstatic. Woohoo, a few weeks off from school? Busting. Let's get it. So, after a couple weeks, I was starting to miss school. And, uh, um, next thing I know, my grandma told me, hey, you're going to start online school soon. I was like, online school? Yeah. And I got a packet. Not a physical packet, but a packet I had to do. But well, I have to do it. But it was on my computer. So I was doing it thinking that you need to do this to get your grades up. And me doing this packet every morning. And I would stop around 1 o'clock. I would stop because... I really didn't want to spend all the way up to 3 o'clock doing a packet that I was positive I didn't have to do. And after two days of this, I even emailed my math teacher. He said, mm, no, you don't have to do the packet. And I was like, ooh, cool, might be just for extra credit. So I still continued to do it. And turns out it's after uh, the school, after the school year ended, Packet wasn't even for extra credit. They let everyone pass. Who did the packet and who didn't. Well, I wasn't very happy. But, uh, you live and you learn. Let's get into my next segment. You can never know what it's like. Your blood cycle went to freezes just like ice in. If gone lonely light that shines from you. Wind up in a wreck you hide behind that mask you use. And did you think school could never win? Well, look at me, I'm coming back again. I got a taste of love in a simple way. And need to know why I'm still standing. You just fade away. Don't you know why I'm still standing that better than I ever did? Looking like a true survivor, feeling like a little kid. And I'm still standing after all this time. Picking up the pieces of my life without you on my mind. I'm still standing, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you help never hope to win. You started down the road, leaving me again. The threats you made, man, you cut me down. Love was us a circus. You be a clown by now. Don't you know I'm still standing better than I ever did? Looking like a true survivor. Feeling like a little kid. And I'm still standing after all this time. Picking up the pieces of my life without you on my mind. I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you know I'm still standing as I ever did? Looking like a true survivor, feeling like a little kid. And I'm still standing after all this time. Picking up the pieces of my life without you on my mind. I'm still standing, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The jobless clown with his pants falling down on my screen. That keeps freezing all the scene of that really good movie. That's quarantine, man. Wear a mask. The people they laugh or stay inside. The people they cry because gone to fight. 
some people might die. Quarantine is. I got a this new book about a T-Rex. I could read it, but I need a rest. I could write a book where a dead man left. A cat kills his father and causes a lot of bother. Clerk, who's thrown out of work by the boss. Who's thrown by a lot for the conditions that hurt. Of quarantine, man. It might be a fight like you've seen on the screen. A turtle getting slain for the love of a queen. Some great movie scene where a ghost meets a prince and everyone dies in the mansion. The gang my waving the flag that began with Mr. Conhead. Hooray, the American way of quarantine. The doubt. Well, the jury's out on a thrill. Where is this reading? Is the will hit parade? The American way. The world is a stage. The stage is the world. The world is a stage. The stage is a world of core. Dear future me, I just found this book that, technically speaking, like goes through time. And it allows me to talk to my future self. And, and some para- type of paradox that it's supposed to let you find it. I think right about now. And I think you're reading it right now. So this is a... This is 28 version. 2018 version. I just wanted to know. How are things going in the future? Do we have rocket cars? Or jetpacks? Or things like that? Oh yeah, another thing. Um, how's, how's Grandma been doing? Is she doing, is she getting better? And, um, also, how old are we? Are we, I bet, I bet we're super old. <laughs> um, I'm, I still, do you still go to Grandview? probably stupid. You're probably all, all, all the way old, super old by now. Wait, just wanted to know, right, so we could have a conversation. Whoa, this is pretty cool. Yeah, it's your future self. Um, this is the year 2021, 20, and I'm 13. No, I don't go to Kappa. I go to, I don't go to Grandview, I go to Kappa. But here, I need to tell you something very important. This is two years before the great catastrophe of 2020. You need to warn people. All right. At the the end of 2019, there's going to be this virus called coronavirus. You need to try to tell the government. You need to try to tell them that they can stop it. But to stop accepting any shipments from China. It's best to do it right now. Stop any shipments from China. Stop taking anything, your toys, the products, all of that. Stop all shipments. You have to do this. You can save us all from this nightmare. I believe in you. Good luck, warrior.